Hi, I'm Nick the History Kid. I'm a young patriot who loves history. Today, I'm in Chicago, Illinois, going to the Shedd Aquarium on Lake Michigan, which is one of the one of America's oldest aquariums. The Shedd Aquarium opened in 1930 and was for some time the largest aquarium in the world. This was the first inland aquarium with a permanent saltwater fish collection. The shed had to rely on a custom-made railroad car, the Nautilus, for the transport of fish and seawater from Florida until 1959. In 1933, Chicago hosted its second World's Fair, the Century of Progress. The aquarium was at the northern part of the fair and was enjoyed by many from around the world. There are several permanent exhibits at the shed. Waters of the World, Caribbean Reef, Amazon Rising, Wild Reef, Stingray Touch, and the Abbott Oceanarium. Let's go check them out. In 1930, 20 railroad tank cars made eight round trips between Key West and Chicago to transport one million gallons of seawater to the shed saltwater exhibits. In 1987, the Shedd Aquarium was placed on the National Register of Historic Places. Granddad is an Australian lungfish who has been at this aquarium since 1933 and is probably the oldest living fish in any aquarium in the world. Granddad is the one with the black spots. The Shedd Aquarium is a beautiful historic Chicago tourist attraction that deserves your support and visitation. Kids of Chicago, become a Shedd steward and explore your local ecosystem while earning service learning hours. Find out more about the aquarium and tell them Nick the History Kid sent you. And remember my state slogan, New Jersey, from the Revolutionary War 
the Jersey Shore. Both history and fun awaits you.